Hey everyone, my name is Kajal and welcome to my channel. For today's VBOTS tutorial video, we'll be looking at how to use LiDAR in VBOTS. And I'll be writing the controller code in C. If you're looking for controller code in other programming languages such as C++ and Python, look for links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, let's start by creating a new project. I'm going on the menu bar wizards, new project directory. Click continue and then give a name to your VBOTS project. And click continue. Make sure to select add a rectangular arena. And you can also name your world if you want to. Click continue and click done. Let's start by adding a robot to our world. I'm going to be using a custom differential drive robot that I have built in a previous video. You can download this robot from the link in the description below and make sure to add it to the proto folder of your project. Next, click add and make sure to keep saving your work. We're going to add a LiDAR to this robot. To modify, go on the VBOT scene tree, click on the robot and right click and select convert to base nodes. Under robot, children, this is where we will be adding our LiDAR. Before adding the LiDAR to VBOT's world, I'm going to add a small piece of solid object to act as the mount. I'm simply going to copy and paste the eye solid. Then click on it and change the transformation. Make X and Z equal to 0 and Y equal to 0 0.082. And as you can see in the VBOTS world, we added a small blue object on top of the robot. Make sure to keep saving your VBOTS world. Next, let's add the LiDAR. Click on the plus sign under base nodes. Select LiDAR and click Add. Next, under LiDAR, we will change the translation. Anytime you add a node in the VBOTS world, it will by default go to 000. So let's change the LiDAR for Y equal to 0.084 meters and click Save. You might not be able to see a lot right now. So to be able to see the LiDAR rays, go on View, Optional Rendering, and select show LiDAR ray paths. With this, you should be able to see these gray lines which shows where our LiDAR is pointing. Next, we'll change the rotation. I'm going to keep Y equal to 1 and change the angle to be 3.14 radians. And as you can see, the rays have moved. Make sure to keep clicking save. Now let's understand some of the other features inside this. For example, number of layers 4. This shows how many layers of LiDAR scan will exist. So for now, let's make it 1 and click enter. As you can see, we went from 4 to 1 layer of LiDAR. And within each layer, you will have multiple LiDAR rays. We can change this number of rays through horizontal resolution which at the moment is 512. Let's say we make it 128. As you can see, it did not make it narrow. This simply means that now there are 128 rays in this entire field of view. To make it less or more, we change field of view. So for example, let's make this 3.14. As you can see, it's now seeing 108 degrees. And within this 108 degrees, there'll be 128 rays. Let's bring it back to what it was. And make sure to keep saving your VBOTS world. Next is your min range and your max range. So if I zoom out right now, it can see up to one unit. Let's change that to 0.1. And as you can see, it became closer. Next is type. 
there is fixed and rotation. Fixed meaning it will always see in the same direction. With rotating, the LiDAR will keep rotating along its axis. For now, let's keep it at fixed. You can explore other options and change them to meet your needs. Next, let's write our VBOTS controller code in C. To create a controller, go to the menu bar, Wizards and click on New Robot Controller. Click Continue and choose the programming language, which in this case is C. Continue. Next, give a name to your controller code and click Continue. Make sure to select Open the file in text editor and click Done. As you can see, it will create this new controller file in C and it also includes some basic code along with comments that will help you write the controller code. If you are new to writing controller code in VBOTS, I recommend you to check my earlier videos where I explain more on how to do this. I'm starting with the initial setup of enabling my motors so that I can drive the robot. As we are focusing on LiDAR in this code, I am simply going to set my velocities to a quarter of max speed and drive the robot forward. Now to use the LiDAR, we need to know the name of LiDAR in our VBOTS world. To do this, go to your VBOTS scene tree and click under Robot, Children, LiDAR, and you can see the name. In this case, it's LiDAR. You can also change it if you want to. Let's go back to our VBOTS controller code. We'll also need to add the LiDAR header file. Next, let's create an instance of our LiDAR. Similar to our other sensors, we'll enable it using time step. The function is called WB LiDAR Enable. The next step is to read our sensor values. For this, we'll make use of a function called WB LiDAR Get Range Image. In this case, we have 512 values within our range image as our horizontal resolution is 512. To see these values, we can use a for loop and print the values. For now, I'll print the first five values. Make sure to save your VBOTS controller code. With that, let's build our code. It seems I made an error. This needs to be a comma, fixing it and let's try that again. To use printf, I need to add a header file. And with that, we have our code. Now make sure to update your robot to use your new controller code. To do this, go to the VBOTS scene tree and under Robot, go to Controller, click Select and choose your controller code. Make sure to save your VBOTS world. 
With that, let's run our simulation by clicking the play icon. As you can see, we are able to see these values. They're very close to one another, so let's add a space bar too. All right, with that, we are able to see our first five values in our LiDAR scan. We can also see the point cloud view in LiDARs. To do this, go to the VBOTS menu bar, view, optional rendering, and click on show LiDAR point cloud. Next, to be able to see the point cloud, we need to enable it. So go back to your VBOTS controller code, and use the function WB LiDAR enable point cloud. Make sure to save your controller code and build it again. With that, let's run our simulation again. As you can see, you can now see the point cloud. Also make sure to look at the wooden box. As you can see, the LiDAR is hitting the edge of the box and anything beyond the box cannot be seen. Also observe the LiDAR values. It went from 0.3 to 0.6 as soon as it stopped seeing the box. Now each of the rays on our LiDAR will give us a distance from the start of the LiDAR till it hits an object. This is why we saw the jump from 0.3 to 0.6 when the rays went from the box to the walls. And this is how you use a LiDAR in VBOTS with the controller code NC. If you have any questions, use the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Before you go, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.